All right, Ty, what you got? Oh, yeah, let me check out his gear. If I remember right, he has pretty good gear. Oh, yeah. That might be better than my... Oh, well, maybe, maybe. The only thing is his legs is not mythic, but everything else is pretty much the same as mine, if not better. Did he win? No, he lost. How did he lose? What happened? Crap. How did he lose? Did I scout that anyway? Hold on. It was this one, right? Heroic Hunter, Ancient Drake Rider, Heroic Fighter. So how did he lose? Wait. Oh my god, he barely lost. Why though? Heroes look okay. He hit mainly kind of nears. Hmm. That's crazy. Well, here's hoping that I can uh, I can win. Because if not, we're going to take that fat L. That's going to suck. Here we go. Wish me luck, guys. Ready or not, here we're going to suck. Yep. Oh, my lord. Let me see what happened in this one. How close was I? I wasn't even close. Why? Hmm. The infantry. We didn't hit much of the cavalry. Yo, wedge, wedge is so hard to hit sometimes. They're really rough. Let me see this. Let me see this. Okay, wall goes down. Yeah, so the cavalry is up here, but my range is still attacking their ranged. And by the time they're done attacking that, they're going to switch over to... Yeah, and they have all that, all that infantry hitting me. Hmm. So now we switch over and we're going to hit infantry and calf, which is not ideal. This is why wedge is so much harder to rally. If you're ever offline, log off in a wedge formation. It's so much harder to crack. Hmm. He wants to know how he lost that. Um Let's let's watch this one to see if we can help him find out why he lost that one. Yeah, the infantry is pretty useless there. He went I think he went with the wrong phalanx. Although I don't know if that's the reason he lost. Let me see. The phalanx would matter if he only lost by like a couple of percent. But we'll see. Yeah, I mean, he still hasn't hit... He still hasn't finished the range in the back, so... It wasn't because of that. 10%? Uh, maybe, maybe. What formation did he go in? Cavalry Phalanx for ranged. I don't think it's the right one. No, cause, yeah, because range is in the middle. He needed to go Infantry Phalanx. Oh, actually, no, he needed to go Cavalry Wedge. Why Cav Wedge and not Inf Phalanx? What's the difference? I'll tell you what the difference is right here. All right, Infantry Phalanx. You get one hit, two hits, Three hits. You have three lines in front of the ranged, right? Do you see? Do you see what I'm saying? Actually, let me let me um, cause I feel like I need my mouse for this. So let me see if I can actually enable my mouse for this. Okay. Oh crap! I hit drill. My bad. My bad. Hold on. Okay. You guys see my mouse? Okay. When you're in a phalanx. You have one front line right here. That's one. Two. This is a one line, right? And then three. This is, a, this is a third line. So even though they're not next to each other, they're still in a line. So you got one, two, three. And then the fourth line is the ranged, yours. 
when you're in a cavalry wedge, you have one, two, three, four lines. That means that you get attacked four times before your range actually gets hit. Whereas infantry, you get three attacks. So cavalry wedge is absorbing one extra attack. And who knows, that one extra attack might just be the difference in 10%. Like, it's a big difference. So, that's the difference. Learning with Avatrex. Anyway, hopefully you guys learned something new from that that you didn't already know or something along those lines. Also, keep in mind, I guess we'll go back to this. Hold on, we'll go back to this. We'll keep teaching phalanxes here. When you're looking at this, right? Let's say you're going, I don't know, let's, let's, let's do range wedge. You would think that if you're with infantry right here on the back, that you will take four hits. But a lot of times that's not the case. Um, you have one two three four the problem is is that ranged stays still and the cavalry and the infantry runs ahead so a lot of times since the range is going to stay, stay still by the time it gets to the fourth range your infantry is already going to be in front so that last line of range doesn't actually get hit so it makes no difference so when it involves range up front you got to be careful because just like right here you have four lines in front of the cavalry, but since range is not going to move from their spot, a lot of times cavalry ends up running ahead, and then you just have that range line on the back, never got hit, never did anything for you. So when range is in the front, be careful. Anyway, let's uh, get rid of the cursor again. Um... And if you want an example, I'll give you a perfect example just right here. I mean, we, we literally just ran this, right? He was in cavalry phalanx. That means that range is in the middle. Let's see. I can't drill them because um, they don't have just a couple of troops, so the interaction is not the same. Okay, so look at this. First hit, cavalry gets taken out, right? Because it's a cavalry phalanx. You have the, four, the front line is all cavalry. Then you have two lines of ranged but what did i just say when range is up front a lot of times things can uh can go up front like the cavalry right so as you see here here's what's gonna happen you see how the the infantry walked ahead but the range is already being targeted why is that because for whatever reason he went cavalry phalanx and the range were in the middle so his little infantry lineup didn't really do anything so it was it was just it was just there. It didn't do nothing. Look at that. His infantry is still in battle. Why? Because they never got targeted. Now when you look at mine, I'm gonna show you what mine is. I went with cavalry wedge, which puts infantry cavalry up front and then range in the back, but in a line of four. So let me show you what this looks like. Count the hits. Count the hits. There's the first one, two, right? That's two hits. Three and four. You see that? Now I'm going to be targeted. You see the difference? That's a lot. That is a lot. So, yeah. Phalanxes, wedges. There's a lot of information there that a lot of, a lot of people don't seem to realize and don't use it to their advantage. But again... Learning with Avatrex. Hopefully you guys can take away something from that. From our failure. If you're online, it's probably better to take a rally in a phalanx. Unless you're getting like triple and quad rally. Then at that point, it, it depends on your account and whatnot. But if you're online, it's better to take it in a phalanx. Because then you can have all your reinforcements be for that front line like in phalanx you can go ahead and make sure that you get 1 million infantry if you're offline what happens is that if you're an infantry wedge it's so much harder to crack you because if you're in an infantry phalanx just send a cavalry rally that, like that's it 
That's all you got to do. There's no thought behind it. Nothing. Just send cavalry. Infantry wedge is a lot harder because you send cavalry, but the range is going to be right there. So even though you're going to be hitting that first two line really hard, the next couple of lines are ranged and they're going to be hitting you really hard. So wedge is just, just harder to crack. Let's just say that. Same with range wedge. Yeah, they have two range in the front. So you would think send infantry. The problem is, is that the second range line is going to stay behind. And then after your infantry wipes the first two range lines, they're going to be going up against four cavalry lines, which is directly countering you. So if you're offline, wedges are always harder to crack. Always. But if you're online, you might want to think about taking it in a phalanx because you can make sure that you get your reinforcements for that front line. Anyway, like I said, hopefully you guys are learning something new every day. <laughs>